Liquid Lunch. I think this will be our last interview of the day, but it's going to be a great one because uh, we've got uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Kamsela Chetty here and uh, Preeti Suri and Rakesh Modi, Ayurvedic doctor, and we're uh, all here to talk about, uh, what is it, International Yoga Day? Yoga Day? Yes. Okay, Kamsela, what is Yoga Day and how did this all get started? So, International Day of Yoga was declared by the uh, Right Honorable uh, Mr. Narendra Modi from India. He presented this proposal to the United Nations uh, General Assembly. And I think, uh, you know, we have International Toilet Day. We have so many international days. When is Toilet Day? And yet, Yoga Day was not recognized you know and yoga dates back 6,000 years and no recognition so out of the general assembly 177 countries agreed to support it and celebrate it all over the world finally right yes finally since last definitely. year since last year 2015 yeah. yes yeah, that, that the first the year prime minister of india mr narendra modi who initiated this event same worldwide. last name as you Right, yes, Rakesh? exactly. Same last name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's uh, so. No, now, how did you guys feel about that? Because you're all um, I- involved in uh, health uh, and wellness in some form. Like, how did you react when you heard that uh, this uh, yoga day had been proclaimed? Well, I think, uh, of course, with uh, so much of positivity, and. Uh, it was celebrated in Toronto and all over the world. Yeah. So we were very excited about it. Yeah. Uh, you know, gaining back the sacredness of yoga. Because if you you see what's happening with yoga, it has been so commercialized as well. So there even uh, is something such as chocolate yoga, I heard, and even uh, karaoke yoga. So it karaoke. has, you know, it's There's a few other changed, kinds too, you know, and we've and had them uh, on the show. Yes, and because of, you know, you have some famous celebrities that have, uh, I say, do the pretzel yoga. And, it, you know, it, it's, it, it doesn't really add to the sacredness of it. So. Well, because, yeah, actually, because here in the West, right, most people probably think of yoga as just a recreational activity That's right, of some sort. right, mainly with the body. Right? Yeah. So what does that word actually mean? And can you tell us about this, the sacredness of it? So the word yoga comes from a Sanskrit word, which means union. Union between the mind and the body. So that's the meaning of yoga. And uh, yoga is uh, best taught or learnt if there is a spiritual master behind it. Okay, so the true essence of it is experienced. So it's not just at a physical level. Because there's a, a sage called Patanjali... Yeah. that uh, has written a discourse on yoga. And in there, no mention is made of the physical body. It's all related to the mind. When was he around? Patanjali? Thousands of years ago. Okay, so he's not... Well, he not might right still be, now, right? But um, there are many uh, teachers and masters that have uh, interpreted his teachings. Yeah. And uh, one of them is the founder of the Art of Living Foundation, which is uh, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. So he has, uh, you know, expounded the Patanjali Yoga Sutras and given us a clearer insight into what it's all about. Okay. So now where is it happening this year? It's at least happening in this year. It's happening at our beautiful, iconic landmark attraction, Niagara Falls. So at the Queen Victoria Parkway uh, in Niagara Falls. So that's where the negative ions are too. That's right. <laughs> right? It's all linked, yes. So we're going to benefit <laughs> from that. That's fantastic. So um, now, um, Preeti, maybe you can tell us a bit more, like, what time does it start? What day is it? And, uh, like, can anybody get involved? Anybody can get involved. The beauty of this is that it's yoga is not meant specifically for one age group. There's a lot of range of activities that can be done by the young or the old of different levels of flexibility. The program starts at 5.30 in the morning and goes on all the way till 10 p.m., so which is really a long day, but you don't have to be there all day. starts with chanting. There is fun, music, meditation, yoga, food. So there's things for everybody to do. Well, the good news is that Tim Hortons are usually open around the clock, so people <laughs> can go there and get their coffee before they start right at 5.30 <laughs> in the morning, right? But for but the yoga point of view, it's not prescribed. Yes, he's going to say no coffee. Stay away from the coffee? If it's possible, stay away. 
yeah. because if, uh, while you do yoga <laughs> exercise and pranayam or breathing exercise the body actually uh, aggravates so much and maybe your hot drinks can clash between your energy that you already produced generally what we why we have tea or coffee to stimulate our body and if you do correct yoga asanas and pranayam and breathing exercises and other other versions of yoga you can actually well stimulate your, stimulate your body well which is yeah i mean that's a really good point because so many people drink coffee because they need the drug to exactly. get their day going and if you don't go if you don't have your coffee you start to get those withdrawal headaches that just shows what you're doing to yourself right the problem today in a yoga industry i'll i'm i'm going to say it yoga industry 85 percentage people who claim they know and teach yoga they don't teach correct version of yoga the more people are doesn't matter any part of the globe i'm not going to say west or east or whatever many people because many people are following a trend of yoga rather than essence of the yoga and reality and original science of the yoga that's why it's going a different direction you may find many people have a uh, side effects of the yoga because they were not correcting themselves what yoga or how much is good for them because everybody is different and everybody is need to customize each one of them they need to customize themselves what what is uh, sufficient enough for me right okay so now what's your involvement in this event because it's a global event right and i'm assuming there are events all over the world but what is your involvement specifically with the event in niagara falls this year so we will be promoting the event okay. getting people to attend the various sessions yeah and uh, we will be there on site uh manning stalls whichever organization we will be belong to so we will be with the art of living foundation and we will be there to promote uh that part of yoga so there'll be other organizations as well involved and their volunteers will be there as well so just like kamsala said there's a lot of organizations that are involved there's the ovbi which is the overseas volunteers for better india there's isha yoga patanjali and many other groups yeah. are all collaboratively doing this and last year there were 155 countries where this the yoga day was actually <coughs> celebrated so and toronto is one of the pioneering uh, cities that is actually going to have this again okay except it's in niagara falls it's this niagara year falls. <laughs> um how many people are you expecting to come this year uh, well over 25000 and plus niagara falls daily attracts 100000 people and it's father's day yes oh, so wow. you know <laughs> fathers can come along and have a taste of yoga yeah <laughs> um now for people that are um I mean there are people now that al- already practice yoga yes. in some form or another mm-hmm. or a lot of people are have not practiced or don't practice but maybe they're thinking of practicing like is this open to um you know anyone Absolutely. The event is free first of all, so okay. anybody can come. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of lot of events happening all through the day. Um a lot of chanting, music, food, yoga, meditation. So at different times of the day there will be different things happening and you know, people are free to come at whatever point that interests them and stay for as long and uh, enjoy and learn from the different uh, organizations that are going to be there. Okay, now you mentioned the chanting. Now I know um Kamsela that you play guitar and yes, I for do. Sanskrit chanting. Are yes. you going to be performing that day as well? I might be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. I just want to add something that you just asked this question about uh, anybody can enroll. Yes, even if you don't know yoga, you can enroll, but you our suggestion is that you must understand how flexible you are. or if you are not just start with a something simple that you can really do it yeah or don't try just anything and everything that's going to be performed there just be with yourself but like you know like what i'm saying is safety is a concern so if somebody is showing some proper demonstration on the stage and you want to follow this you don't want to do that because that may not be a correct uh, atmosphere mm mm-hmm. for anybody who are just a beginner to practice yoga so we we this is open to beginners to anyone uh, everyone people and yeah, uh, people of all ages yes, absolutely. absolutely yeah 
And uh, what about people that say uh, if they don't have a car to get down to Niagara Falls, is there any kind of transport? Yes, they are actually. We are arranging transport. So there will be buses that are leaving from the downtown area as well as the east end and west end. And there will be a lot of information on our website. So the website is, um, uh, I'm hoping it'll show on the screen. Uh, And we have a Twitter handle as well. So please look for transportation options uh, at uh, nominal, very nominal charges. And we would love for everybody to be there. Yeah, I think it's Canada Yoga.ca yeah, is the website. And I'm just wondering, two people, can they plan their day? Are you showing the activities yeah, the on the website so people yeah. can yeah. So they can yes. choose whichever, the event you know. list. Yeah. Okay, okay, so great. Then, awesome. Yeah. So I'll give you final information about the event. If yeah, you are, please. Like yeah. Event date is 19th June 2016, which is Sunday, which is Father's Day. That's so we coming request. Up. That, that's very close, right? Yes, we are. A couple weeks close. away less. Yeah, and mm. uh, we request all the family to uh, bring their father to show support to the father and health and wellness. And the father is actually the main source of the any family. So in every family need to take care of their father, just like a mother. At the same time, the w- our website is www.canadayoga.ca. Please register yourself, even if it's free event. We request everybody register themselves to participate into this great event. Yeah. Because that will uh, actually help the city of uh, Niagara or, uh, and municipality there to see how many people are actually arriving. Right. So if there is any safety reasons. Uh, and it's also for the event organizer, it will be helpful for us to create uh, uh, proper arrangements. Yeah. So we request everybody to register themselves at the canadayoga.ca. And also, uh, if you want to join us as a volunteers or if you want to participate as a business, there is a booths are available to market your products and services. The secondary, we also are coming out uh, with a brochure if you want to print your advertisements or anything there and to support the event uh, and take advantage of uh, 5,000 or 10,000 people will show up there to market your product and services. And... Um, if there is any uh, more question that you uh, have, you may call us at 647-669-1000. I repeat one more time. 647-669-1000. And uh, please be there. And the whole day activity, anyone if you are, even you are uh, come alone, you may find some good companies there because everybody is interested to have healthy, well, and happy day as a Father's Day, celebrated in 19 June as a International Yoga Day. Please do come. Plus, it's probably one of the best times of year to go down to Niagara Falls and enjoy the city, enjoy yes. the Niagara region. The trees right. and the flowers are in bloom. The weather's not too hot yet. Mm-hmm. You know, get some negative ions while you're at it. <laughs> right? What a great yes. thing to do on Father's Day. That's right. right. Yes. That's so great. everyone to see welcome. You all there. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming and telling us. For having Thank you, Hugh, audience. for your uh, great support. And um, please join us. Okay. All right. You know, that's near my hometown, right? Exactly. I yes. grew up right near there. Oh, really? Okay. Then I could awesome. walk to Niagara Falls from my house. Really? Wow. That's a pretty long walk, but <laughs> you can still walk. <laughs> <laughs> please join us then. Okay. Thank All right, you. guys. Thank you. We really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for Liquid Lunch for today. So there's a great thing to do. On the 19th of June, Father's Day, CanadaYoga.ca. So uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We'll see you next time right here on thatchannel.com.